And we begin with the family's unimaginable heartbreak. The grandmother of a five-year-old gunned down in a triple murder is speaking out. That little boy was shot multiple times and was found on the floor of his bedroom. Police working to find the gunman or gunmen. Grandmother, though, has a simple message to the person responsible. Pamela Osborne following the story tonight. Pamela, she is not holding back. Not at all. She says the past 24 hours have felt like a nightmare that she just cannot wake up from all because of what happened inside of this home here with the white door that you see there. She is pleading with all of you at home. If you have any information at all to come forward, help her understand how and why this happened. Totally devastated um, in shock. I've been totally in shock. Caleb was a bright light. He loved to play, especially with trucks. He should have been looking forward to his sixth birthday, but now his family needs your help finding the person who took the rest of his life away from him. For you to shoot a five-year-old in the face, not once but twice, you couldn't let him go so that he can remain and live. But you had to be a coward and take him out. Why? Why would you do that to my grandson? Caleb, his mother, and another man were found shot to death in this home on Evergreen Road in northwest Detroit Sunday. It's unclear how long the three had been inside. A monster would do this. Caleb's grandmother, Shalisa Floyd, is hoping someone somewhere will do the right thing and come forward. This is something that needs to stop. Caleb was our future. Now he's going to be put to rest at five years old. He was only five. And police aren't talking today, but yesterday they did say that they are looking for a person of interest. Anyone, again, if you have any information, you can call police. You can remain anonymous. Call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Reporting live tonight in Detroit, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4.